As of Escape from Tarkov patch 0.14, you no longer start with the good old quests we've been used to for years, debut, introduction, gunsmith, or shortage. Before you can meet Jaeger or gather your Salewas, there are four new quests that you must complete, all of which are on Ground Zero, the new starter map. Luckily, they are a breeze, especially once you know how to snowball them together in one fell swoop. Let's break down how to complete all four in less than three minutes, starting now. This is the center of the map, the intersection where the huge terror group building is. I'll use this as a reference point. We'll do the one which takes the longest first, shooting cans from Purport, which unlocks debut. For this, you need to locate the Utios HMG, as well as the AGS or the automatic grenade launcher on ground zero. The Utios is in the upper floor of this tar bank building. Go to the left of the elevators here, and then straight to the top of the stairs, past the barbed wire. Make sure the coast is clear, and then head to the right, and there's the machine gun. That's part one done. By the way, if you happen to get the basement spawn, it's even simpler. Go through this open door, marked Empire Business Center, and then take the first door on your left, leading straight to the stairs. The AGS is located in the Capital Insight building. You can easily identify this by its concave wedge shape. The AGS is on the second floor. Head up the escalators on your right and then just keep going right all the way to the top. The emplacement is in the second room to the right on this floor. That's shooting cans done. At some point for this quest, you'll also need to kill five anythings on ground zero. Chances are, at some point during this quest, you'll run into scavs or PMCs. Either of them will count towards the quest. The next three quests, saving the mole, burning rubber, and first in line, can be completed all at once quite easily if you want. But at minimum, you should be able to roll two of them together. You're going to be heading to the terror group complex. I would suggest hugging one of the sides of the building as going straight up the center is pretty open. Keep an eye on this open section on the second floor. Players could be hiding up here waiting for questers, and it's likely that they will be because this is where you actually need to go. Once you get to the entrance at the center, look to the right. You need to go past this cat. All the way to the end of the hallway, there's a man crushed in rubble. This is the lab scientist that you need to locate. Once you've walked over him, you should get a subtask completion, and then you need to loot him because he spawns with a one-time use key that you need for the next part of the quest. Once you have the key, head back the way that you came and up these stairs. Be very aware approaching this area. There are many angles and areas that people can be hiding up here and with everyone doing this quest, chances are that there will be. You're looking for room 4. Once you're in here, the first part of the quest will pop. You just need to walk into the room, grab an HGD drive on the desk here, and then head out. A little side note, even if you loot the scientist and he doesn't have the key on him, chances are somebody has already gone up to the second floor and opened room 4. If this is the case and you need to do the quest, head up and see if the door is already open, but be very aware that there might be already somebody in there. Once you've completed this and you're back down the stairs, look straight to your right. You need to go down this hallway to the very end and take a left. All these dead PMCs are what you're looking for. Walk near this van and the quest subtask should pop. That's saving the mold done, but now you have a couple options. Go to the left to the car to do burning rubber, or right to Emercom to do first in line. For burning rubber, go all the way back to the very right side of the Terra Group building. This is where the vehicle extract is. You can take this for around 5,000 rubles. Make sure that you always bring the cash with you before loading into the raid if you plan to take the car. Once you've paid, you need to wait about a minute. I would suggest moving off to the side so that people can't grenade you if you're just sitting right in front of the car. For first in line, you need to head back out the parking garage to the right. You're looking for this building mark, Unity Credit Bank. This is where the Emercom station is. All you need to do is walk near the camp for the quest subtask to pop. You also need to turn in three medical items for this quest. This camp is actually a good spot to look for some, especially around the table or in medical bags nearby. Make sure that if you find a Salewa or Morphine, you don't turn them in for this task, as there are specific tasks that they're required for right as soon as you're done with this one. Bandages, Analgan, or any other little med items are a good bet to complete first in line. If you're right here and you want to extract, this is actually the Emercom extract as well, right next to the Unity Credit Bank building. So head out here if you'd like. And with that, you're done. These quests are actually super simple and a great way to introduce general mechanics of the game, such as the car extract, locating things, looting items, or using keys. I hope that this short guide made them simple to understand. If you haven't, you can subscribe right here to keep track of me, and good luck out there in Tarkov. Until next time.